All right, sorry for being bad at YouTube. Um, I already re-uploaded this once, but I'm just going to re-record it entirely now. We're comparing different BFGs in different mods. It is too long. So first one we're going to do <laughs> is the infinite rocket launcher from no SP2. Now, <clears throat> this one is somewhat weaker than the... I'm using cheats, by the way. Just, it's just supposed to demonstrate. It's somewhat weaker than the regular BFG, as we can see. But it does have infinite ammo. So when you end up playing the wads or the levels with the infinite rocket launcher, it ends up being about that weapon. The whole level is about it. Except for map 21, I don't know what the deal was there. So you design levels with lots and lots of enemies at a distance. And that's, that's usually how the infinite rocket launcher went. Let's go to the next one. And if you watch some of my No SB3 gameplay, which I, I have some of it uploaded already, you'll see this small change where the rocket launcher now shoots significantly faster, more powerful than the BFG now. It's, it's game changing. Instead of it being, okay, this is your primary weapon, it becomes your oh, there are a lot of enemies here, I need to do some damage fast. It also consumes ammo, so that's how this one is balanced. Um, and we'll do this one from Spectrum of the Vaults of Steel. You should watch my playthrough of that, UV Max. Uh, Spectrum uses the same infinite rocket launcher, and it ends up being like your primary weapon for a lot of the level. But you also have this red rocket launcher, which just melts. I think of it as a souped up version of the no SP3 one. But rather than it being, okay, this is a hard fight, you know, that's, that's one you used on it. The way it's used in that level, you're saving up rockets for the hardest fight, which is the white arena. And you're using it. You're using it there. So it's kind of like the BFG in new Doom. But here's why I think it's okay. It's still a rocket launcher, it'll blow you up if you misuse it. And you still have to aim it. Also, Spectrum of the Balls of Steel is really hard. Uh, Doom Eternal is not as hard. It doesn't warrant a super weapon, in my opinion, on repeat playthroughs for me. Okay. Uh, last one I'll talk about. This weapon is really really cool and my only complaint about it which, which we'll get to but first i'll say it's like the normal bfg but instead of just damage on the tracers it's explosives which yeah it doesn't even take that long to get through H how many enemies is this yeah hundreds hundreds are going down in seconds very very powerful weapon it also has that long reload animation if you stop shooting, uh, but not if it's completely empty, just like the classic plasma gun. Now, this showed up in Struggle Antaresian Legacy. Now, for me, I, I really liked Antaresian Legacy. I th think everyone should play it. It's a little bit harder than Eternity. Eternity. Um, it is more on the look around, find stuff, explore side of things. But even for me, like, it was manageable. But it really wasn't a slaughter wad. Most of the gameplay was run and gun or tight corridor, not corridor, but like tight arenas with short lines of sight. Which means this weapon that damages you if you're too close, it's almost unusable for the vast majority of levels and it shows up very rarely. So, 
I'm pleading to you, map makers, okay? Which, based on my audience, is actually probably uh, a, a sizable proportion of the people who watch. Put this, put this in slaughter maps, okay? I, I, I want to see a thousand hell knights, and you give me, you give me this thing, and then we, we kill them, okay? Maybe you mess with the reload animation, or, or what? But I, I, I want this effect, okay? Most powerful weapon in Doom I've ever seen, by far, not even close, okay? Please, do, do, do it. Uh, also, maybe provide a normal BFG as well, so we can kill cyber demons. Okay, I'm done. Hopefully this upload actually works, because I tried this two other times, and it did not. Alright, I'm going to play Batman now.